Taylor paced the length of her Nashville living room, phone pressed to her ear. The news had come out of nowhere, a rogue tweet from a sports reporter that had snowballed into a media frenzy. Travis and Taylor, engaged, screamed the headlines. Mom, Taylor pleaded, did you tell anyone? Donna Kelsey's warm chuckle crackled through the receiver. Honey, you know this mama can't keep a secret about her favorite quarterback's happiness. But seriously, Travis wanted it to be a surprise. Taylor sank onto the plush couch, burying her face in a sequin pillow. This wasn't how she'd envisioned it. Ever the storyteller, she'd crafted elaborate daydreams about a proposal under the northern lights, a moment captured only by the aurora borealis and their love. Now, the internet was buzzing, dissecting every detail of their relationship. Disappointment morphed into a different emotion, a flicker of anger. This wasn't about a diamond ring or a grand gesture. It was about their love, their journey, being reduced to a clickbait headline. Tears welled up in her eyes. Sensing the shift, Donna's voice softened. Taylor, honey, are you alright? This isn't how it was supposed to be, is it? Tears spilled over. No, it's not, Taylor choked out. It feels, impersonal. Donna sighed. Listen, Travis is a big, emotional goofball sometimes. He probably got so excited, he just blurted it out to his mom. A small smile tugged at Taylor's lips. She could picture Travis, all enthusiasm and no subtlety, practically bursting with the news. He loves you more than touchdowns, that much I can tell you, Donna continued. Maybe we can take back the narrative a bit. How about you two write a song together about it? You know, turn lemons into lemonade? Taylor's songwriter brain word to life. A song about stolen moments, about finding love in unexpected places, about a love strong enough to weather a media storm. It wasn't the proposal she'd envisioned, but it could be the start of a beautiful story, a story they'd write together, one verse, one chorus at a time. Mom, Taylor said, a newfound determination in her voice, you're a genius. The next day, Taylor posted a picture on social media. It was a simple photo, two hands, one adorned with a glittering ring, the other, larger and calloused, gently holding it. The caption read, our song is just beginning. Hashtag engaged. The internet, ever fickle, erupted in cheers. But this time, the focus was on their love, a love that had found its own perfect rhythm. Taylor paced the length of her Nashville living room, phone clutched to her ear. Gossip blogs were ablaze with speculation, but Donna Kelsey's confirmation was a different beast altogether. They're happy, Taylor, Donna's warm voice washed over the line. Travis has never been this smitten. A bittersweet smile tugged at Taylor's lips. Smitten. It was a good word, a domestic word. But here, in the world of Taylor Swift, public scrutiny was a constant storm cloud. Are you sure she won't? Taylor began, her voice trailing off. Donna chuckled, the sound rich and knowing. Honey, that girl wouldn't spill a secret about a grocery list, let alone your love life. A beat of comfortable silence followed. But Taylor, Donna continued, her tone turning serious, are you happy? Taylor sank onto the plush couch, burying her face in a sequin throw pillow, a stark contrast to her usual sleek aesthetic. Happy? Ecstatic. Terrified, she confessed. Travis, he grounds me. Makes me laugh until my sides ache. But the media. The media's a hungry beast, Donna agreed, but you've tamed wilder ones, Taylor. Besides, she added with a playful jab, Travis can catch a football with one hand, I'm sure he can handle a few reporters. Taylor snorted, a genuine laugh bubbling up. Donna always knew how to lighten the mood. You're right, she conceded, a newfound determination creeping into her voice. This is good, Donna. It's real. And maybe, just maybe, I can write a love song that doesn't end in heartbreak. Donna's laughter filled the receiver. Now that's a story I can't wait to hear. Hanging up, Taylor walked over to the grand piano in the corner of the room. Her fingers hovered over the ivory keys, a melody already forming in her mind. It wouldn't be a traditional love song, not yet. 
but it would be a song about courage, about taking a chance on forever, even in the face of a hurricane. And maybe, just maybe, it would be the soundtrack to a love story that defied all expectations. Taylor clutched her phone, the screen a harsh glow against her tear-streaked cheeks. Donna Kelsey's voice, warm and familiar from FaceTime calls, echoed in her head. Sweetie, they're just young, figuring things out. Don't you worry none. Those words, meant to be comforting, felt like a dam breaking. A sob racked Taylor's body, a messy counterpoint to the carefully curated image she presented to the world. Travis. Her Travis, the man who could turn a room electric with his smile and a stadium silent with his catches, was, figuring things out? Their relationship, a whirlwind romance that had captivated the tabloids, had always felt different. There was a genuine ease, a meeting of minds that transcended their celebrity. They'd navigate award shows and touchdowns with the same goofy grins, their laughter a melody only they understood. Lately, though, the music had faltered. Texts went unanswered, calls dropped. Travis, consumed by the upcoming season, seemed distant. Then came the whispers, the rumors swirling around a new, starlet, scene hanging around his training camp. Denial, a familiar friend, had kept the melody going, but Donna's confirmation shattered the illusion. Burying her face in a pillow, Taylor felt the familiar sting of heartbreak, a wellspring of emotions she knew all too well. But amidst the pain, a spark ignited. This wasn't just heartbreak, it was betrayal. The media storm they'd weathered together, the judgmental stares, the pressure, it had all been for what? Wiping her tears, a steely glint entered her eyes. This wasn't the end of the song, it was a bridge, a powerful shift in the narrative. Pulling up her laptop, Taylor started typing. The melody in her head wasn't a sob this time, it was a defiant anthem. The world might see her as a heartbroken pop star, but tonight, she'd write a song that would shake the very foundation of that image. Hours bled into morning as Taylor poured her emotions onto the digital canvas. The song, raw and honest, spoke of resilience, of the strength found in vulnerability. As the sun peeked over the horizon, casting a golden hue across the room, Taylor knew this wasn't just a song, it was her declaration of independence. Travis might be figuring things out, but Taylor Swift was done. The heartbreak would find its voice, but it wouldn't define her. It would empower her, and the world would listen. Taylor paced the length of her Nashville living room, phone clutched in a death grip. The silence on the other end was deafening. Ten minutes ago, a headline had exploded across her phone, Donna Kelsey spills the beans, Travis and Taylor are an item. The news, once a delightful secret they shared with close friends, was now public knowledge. Donna, Travis's effervescent mom, had a well-deserved reputation for being loose-lipped with reporters. Taylor loved her dearly, but this was a whole new level. She envisioned the media frenzy, the dissection of their relationship, the endless speculation. Her stomach churned. Finally, a text pinged. It was Travis. Hey babe, I'm so sorry about this. Mom called me freaking out. Is everything okay with you? Taylor sank onto the plush couch, her heart hammering a frantic rhythm. She typed furiously. Everything's, a lot. Are you on your way over? The second I finish practice. Don't worry, I'll handle this. His words offered a sliver of comfort. Travis, with his booming laugh and unwavering protectiveness, had always been her anchor. But this felt different. This was her world, the world of meticulously crafted lyrics and carefully curated public perception, being invaded by the whirlwind of sports media. Minutes bled into an hour. Taylor tried to distract herself, strumming a few chords on her guitar, the melody failing to take shape. The silence mocked her. The doorbell finally rang. She flung the door open, and Travis engulfed her in a hug. His familiar scent, a mix of sweat and aftershave, grounded her. There you are, she whispered, burying her face in his chest. Let's shut out the noise, he said, leading her to the couch. He pulled out his phone, his brow furrowed as he scrolled through the onslaught of articles, memes, and fan theories. A ghost of a smile touched Taylor's lips. Even in this mess, they were on the same page. She snuggled closer, her head resting on his shoulder. 
Maybe we write a song about it, she mused, a spark of defiance igniting in her blue eyes. Travis chuckled, the sound warm and reassuring. We could call it, the Kelsey Clause. A genuine laugh burst from Taylor. Yes, the media storm would be loud, but they would weather it together. They always did. And maybe, just maybe, it would inspire a chart-topping anthem about finding love in the most unexpected places.